Eve's not really a turn-based game. Things happen at all kinds of timescales, but for certain PvP interactions, changes in the game state occur locked to the one second update tick of Eve's server. So when you jump into a new system and you're sitting there holding Gate Cloak and you give the instruction to warp to the next gate, your ship starts aligning at the next tick. Your signal goes to the server, it takes the length of your ping to get there, and then once it arrives, the server waits until the next tick, and then your ship actually starts aligning. And if your align time is, in this example, say 1.8 seconds, you will align for 1.8 seconds, and then your ship will be ready to warp, but the server won't check to actually see if your ship should be in warp until the next tick. This is why a 1.1 second align ship is called a 2 second align ship, the same as a 1.99 second align ship. Both of them will actually enter warp at tick 2. Now, of course, even though your ship enters warp at tick 2, you won't instantly know right on tick 2 that you are in warp, because first off, there's a small processing and sync delay before the server sends out any new updates after the tick, which can vary from person to person, by the way. And then once that sync delay has finished, the signal goes out, but there will still be a delay equal to your ping before your client knows that you're in warp. So in this example with the 1.8 second line, we'll actually see the warp drive active text pop up on our screen about 2.1 to 2.2 seconds after we started aligning, which may itself be like half a second after we gave the command. Now let's look at that same thing from the other side, from the perspective of someone who's sitting on that gate in an interceptor with remote sensor boosters on it, say. They've got their tackle mod pre-activated. All they have to do is click on you, the locking process will begin, and their point will be activated and you'll be tackled. Theoretically, it seems like that should be able to happen very, very fast. An interceptor with remote sensor boosters on it can have its lock time against a frigate down to about half to 0.6 of a second pretty easily. But what actually happens on their end makes locking a frigate with a two second align almost impossible. Let's break it down. So you gave the command to issue warp, you waited for the ping, waited for the start of the next tick, your aligning began. Now, from the other person's perspective, they can't do anything until you actually appear on their overview. And once your aligning begins, they're going to have to wait that sync delay after the tick, and they're going to have to wait for their ping, for whoever long takes the message to get to them, and then, then, your ship will appear on their overview. Then they can click, and the reaction time is going to be a delay. Human reaction time is usually about 200 to 250 milliseconds. Some people are significantly faster, but it's not zero. And once they've actually clicked to lock you, that message is going to have to travel back to the server, ping again. And then, then, when the lock command is received, then the ship will actually start locking, and they'll have to wait the length of their lock time. And then once their lock time has fully progressed, the server will say, okay, we're going to lock this ship, but it won't actually apply the lock until the next tick. So in this example I've put up here, the lock has finished about halfway between tick one and tick two, but the server won't actually apply the lock until tick two itself. Once tick two happens, the server will send a signal to the interceptor's client after the sync delay, and it'll take the ping to get there, and then one sync and one ping after tick two, the interceptor will see your ship become locked. And at that point, if they have their tackle mod pre-activated, they will immediately, with no delay, send a signal back to the server saying, great, tackle them. That message will fly back to the server, ping again, and then the ship will actually become warp disrupted, except the ship they're trying to tackle will already be off grid. So the long and short of it is that your ship will actually enter warp at the next whole second after your align time. A line of 1.8 seconds means your ship enters warp at 2 seconds. And the interceptor will try and actually apply tackle at the next whole second after their sync plus their ping plus their reaction plus their ping plus their lock time. And if those two whole second values are identical, then the person trying to warp out will always get away. The tackler needs to make it so that their lock finishes one whole tick before the person trying to warp off grid. And it is possible. It is possible to get your lock time so low, to get your ping so low by moving to London, England, and to get your reaction time so low that you manage to get all of that done by tick one 
at which point a ship with a two second line is still going to get caught. It basically never happens except for in a few very specific systems. I don't recommend worrying about it too much. If you have a ship that can align under two seconds, you're going to get away 99.9% .9 of the time. But if your ship aligns in 2.01 seconds, then the interceptor only needs to make sure that they finish their locking process by tick two. And unless they're drunk or in Australia, then that's going to be pretty easy for them. Now, the other side of this same coin is that it is therefore literally impossible for any ship in the game to lock and warp disrupt you if your align time is less than one second. If you would be entering warp at tick one, they would need to have you locked at tick zero, which obviously breaks the laws of time and space. Now, unfortunately, there are not very many ships that can warp in under one second. Capsules can do it. T3 destroyers can do it with the right fit. And I believe shuttles and interceptors can do it with billions of ISK and implants and drugs. But that's about it. For most people, the two second align is going to be the benchmark they're going for. And for almost all situations, the two second align will be enough. And that's basically it. Everything you need to know about the two second and one second thresholds when it comes to the server ticks, insta locking and insta warping. The one thing I haven't really talked about in this video is how you actually get a two second align or one second align on your ships. But really, I recommend that you play around yourself in Pypha. The modules you're looking for if you're trying to scrape down below one of those thresholds are inertial stabilizers and low friction nozzle joints. The inertial stabilizers do come in faction variants if you've got the ISK for it. And if you're looking for implants, the implants in question are the Nomads, which come in a low grade and mid grade set. The other thing I should mention is that all of the examples in this video were based on a ship warping off of gate where they get to start with their gate cloak active. In other situations, such as undocking, the math can look very different, but a faster align time is always going to make you more safe. I hope this has been informative. Get out there, fly some ships, blow up, and then figure out why. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of mechanical deep dive, you should know that most of the content in this video was drawn from episode 60 of my Corvette to Cinnaball Bootstrap Challenge. A link to the playlist should be popping up right about now. Maybe you should check it out. Oh yeah, the skin codes. Leave a comment below with your favorite two second align fit for any ship in the game and also your in-game name. I'll be sending ePartner skin codes to the first 10.